Hey, what's going on, everyone? Nerf Herder back at it, uh, back at it again. I've got a commission that was asked for me to do a long time ago by a friend of uh, that I met doing my first convention. My town had a, a convention for like a builders convention thing, a bunch of three D printed three D printer uh, people and board top players and all this fun stuff. And I, I was asked. Uh, somebody found me because the paper that did an article on me, and then you know, and she was like, "Hey, will you mind?" Uh, just bringing your sabers and talking to people, I think it'd be cool. And I, and I had a total blast doing it. In that, I met uh, a guy named uh, Brian. This is his uh, commission that I'm gonna be showing off. He uh, cosplayed as Luke Skywalker and um, talked to him a little bit there, became Facebook friends. Um, you know, I'll be, like I said, he's local. Uh, kept in touch over, you know, Star Wars stuff and memes and whatnot on Facebook. Cool dude. He's a cosplayer. So he was like, and this was a while ago. He's like, I'm going to do a Count Dooku cosplay. Can you help me out? And like point me in the right direction on, you know, a saber to get and all this stuff. And I was like, dude, you are perfect for Dooku. <laughs> he's, he looks, he looks perfect, man, for Dooku. He's making the cosplay up and I can't wait to see it. I'm happy to have a, a hand in helping out on that. So we couldn't really find anything at the time for a lightsaber hilt for a Count Dooku hilt, they were kind of hard to find. So he got the Saber Forge, Count Dooku, and um, they, he got it quick, man. He got it in like two weeks. I was surprised at that one. Uh, I haven't done any Dooku's. I've never installed a Dooku of any kind, and uh, I haven't really seen one in person. I may have seen one once at a convention. I think somebody had one. I was like, yo, let me see that real quick. But it was in passing. For this one, we have because he wanted to do uh, a little bit of a show piece because obviously he's a cosplayer. Very little uh, dueling, so Neo Pixel was something that he was like, I want to do at the time. Uh, he wanted to know if there was a way you can switch between Neo Pixel and Tri Cree, so that way if he wanted to duel with his buddies, we got a dueling group in town, and they meet up and, and duel. And he was like, I wonder if there is there a way you can swap it out. And at the time, I was like, ah, that might be a little much. I mean, you, you can't really once you wire up the board to do Neo Pixel, um, you can't really go back. In the time that that's passed, there's a uh, I believe it was Ultimate Works. I think uh, I'll leave a link uh, and a picture. I'll show a picture real quick where there's a drop in Tri Cree module that's NeoPixel pin connected. So he will be able to do that, which is pretty cool. So we have a CFX one button mod, which I haven't done yet either. This is pretty, uh, it's been pretty interesting to swing it around with one button, something to get used to. And uh, we have a 24 millimeter base speaker, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. we have a 24 millimeter base speaker from Saber Essentials. I happen to have one. He, uh, we, I misjudged it and we got a 28 millimeter speaker. I was like, crap, man, it's, this takes a 24. And I luckily had one and I was like, well, let's just swap it out. I'll take yours, you take mine. It's all, all gravy, baby. 2.1 millimeter recharge port, which is uh, the Saber Forge one that they use. I have a bunch of them. The pommel and speaker were kind of tricky, The as well as the chassis. Uh, there aren't any chassis really, to my knowledge, on this hill so i knew travis from rgv custom sabers i knew he did one so i was like yo brian hit him up see what he's got while i look around too and travis pulled through so a uh, really cool chassis it's got rgv written on the side of it this saber once it's done up it's locked in he doesn't really ever need to do anything other than recharge it right here which i'm he's not really gonna anyways this was this was fun this was a challenge figuring out how it worked figuring out all the problems that were gonna come up <laughs> brian bless your soul man he came over uh and he wanted to sit through as much as he could and you know kind of take it all in and have a part in it and um what i mean by bless your soul is if you're gonna sit in my if you're gonna sit with me and let me talk sabers i'm gonna talk a lot so he got a he got a full briefing on everything <laughs> but we tore the hilt down we figured out how it was gonna go about the tricky part is definitely the recharge port wires over the speaker which is why it's a 24 millimeter speaker because your recharge port wire has to go over the speaker, feed in through it, and then up there. And then everything, once the claw is taken off, there's a, uh, a drill and tapped a retention screw for the chassis that slides in there. And your uh, LED module sits right here. So he knows never to loosen this one, leave it. This is the blade retention. Yeah, once, uh, like to get the SD card access, you can get it. I'm obviously the one who knows how to do it. Pop it out, pop off the claw, all the unscrews, uh, and then untwist this body or this pommel back end and the wires are free floating 
and then you take off the retention for the chassis and then slide the whole chassis out. You can take the SD card out and make changes. I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff done up on it. I've already put a lot of things on it. I got excited and I was like, I'm gonna make a video. <laughs> so there's a lot more to it. I'm talking a lot here. Let's go ahead and get this swinging around and then I'll, I'll, I'll discuss it a little bit more. Sorry guys. I just, I got excited about this one. This is something that I was like, I, I don't care if it's 100% done. I wanna do a video on it. Pulls the kill key. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the force, but by our skills with a lightsaber. Uh, I had him buy three fonts from K Sith, Kyberphonic fonts, and Force Effects. And I doubled up on some fonts just through different um uh track uh different different quotes and different stuff and customized it and we made this a uh, a uh, canon style showpiece uh font hilt. <laughs> Sound resonance comes out through here. 24 millimeter speaker down in there. Accent swings. Really interesting hill. Feels very good when you hold it like this. Two handed. And it's it's kind of it's a big one. Like lengthwise, you know, this is very comfortable, kind of when you're holding it like a gentleman. And uh, this is a one button mod. First time doing this with CFX. So you press and release, tap to get your blasters. The blade effects are bouncing back and forth, so it's not timed right. Obviously, you need a blade in it to really see that, part, which we will throw in a second. So your lockup is going to be uh, clash and button at the same time. So. Force wave is swing and auxiliary. Power down, just press and hold. Or press, really. You don't have to pull for very long. The uh, way to switch fonts and do all that stuff is a little tricky. It just takes a second to get used to. You're gonna press and hold, and then when the first beep goes off, you've, you let go, it will go into a mute mode. Mute. Now, we won't wake up anybody in the house. And whenever you get that module, Brian, just drop in there for your tricree. Um, you can do your dueling with a uh, mute mode, so you won't be making a lot of noise while no one else is. <laughs> so then you get turn that off, just press and power's down. Now you're gonna press and hold until, so you're gonna have to pass that beep. Then once you pass that beep, there's going to be another beep if there's an audio track. And then if you let go at that beep, then your audio track will play. You can double tap to pause it, double tap to play it again but you're always gonna be pretty much hold, pressing and holding and getting to a beep and letting go at a certain time. You just have to, you'll figure it out. So the first beep is the mute, move past that. Sound bank selection. There was no audio track, so it goes into the font selection menu. And from there, you just press once to scroll down your font menu. Surrender, and your lives will be spared. Press and hold to select the font. More powerful than any Jedi. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the blade in there and swing it around. Now, Brian has a KR uh, pixel strip blade, which I'm really excited to do. I haven't seen one yet in person. I just haven't had the need to get one. I'm gonna make you a blade plug too, Brian. I just put this in there real quick to show off for the video. But um, I haven't finished, uh, I haven't started the KR blade because I finished this guy up and I was like, screw it, I wanna do a video now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end up doing a video on the KR blade when I get it. But for now, this is just gonna be for the hilt. Let's put a blade in there. So, like I said, yeah, well, you got TCSS NeoPixel connector down in there. And like I said, Brian, you just kind of put it in and gently, you don't wanna smash it down, but you'll feel it kind of bounce. And that's the pogo pin. So if you press it down just a little bit and then pinch, so that way it's it's engaged, you know, well enough. And then tighten this guy down just enough. You don't want to over crank this. You don't want to strip it or anything like that. 
But there we go. All right, this dude's wild. <laughs> this dude's wild to swing it around. You ready? <sighs> it does look good, though. There's your blasters. I set them to hit and both sides dissipate energy. And then for lockup, you're gonna smack and press the auxiliary at the same time. And I might move that a little bit more up here. I, it's kind of closer to his, his face, but I'll center it with the blade. It looks so good though, man. And I love that there's a little flutter at the end of the uh, power on. Oh, I love that. I'm a fan of that. Force lightning for some sound effect. Let go and mute. It'll it'll function the same. Power down and it'll go away. So let's advance. Actually, I think there's an audio track on here. Sound bank selection. I was wrong. Surrender and your lives will be spared. So I'm not sure the order because I've added quotes to different things. Cyberphonic fonts, uh, K-Sith, and Force Effects. All their Dooku fonts. One's the Count's Claw, one's the oldest Padawan by Fours. The Count's Claw is Cyberphonic. Uh, the oldest Padawan is Force Effects, and then the Duke is K-Sith. Uh, Lord Tyrannus. Lord Tyrannus. I've become more powerful than any Jedi. I bring a warning. Oh, yeah. So this is on blue, because he was talking about cosplaying as a um, the Padawan, or not the Padawan, the uh, Jedi Dooku. Mixing it up with his cosplay would be cool. And then to switch um, your color profiles, it's the exact same as I usually set up. You do uh, press the uh, button, <laughs> your main button, and twist the saber, and it'll enter a spectrum mode. Spectrum. And then from here, you twist until you get to whichever blade color you want. You hear the clicks, it'll kind of show you what you're going for. Man, this hill looks really cool in green, not gonna lie. But, it's Dooku, we gotta be red. I have my ways. So this font has a bunch of quotes in it. Lots of post-offs and prions. I think that is the uh, oldest Padawan. Oh, here's a music track. This is for Yoda. Your swords, please. Oh, well. Oh, maybe not. I think this is when they're fighting on the ship. Oh, no, maybe that's Yoda's song. So again, um, to get into the sound selection, you gotta hold it down until she says it. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the force. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Kyberphonic Count's Claw. Oh, love that ignition.
uh, music tracks. <laughs> Yoda. When you power it down and you double press, you can pause the music. And then when you double press again, you will turn the music back on. So. Power down. Double press. Press and hold. Track, so. Sound bank selection. Then you're out of that sound font. This one is, uh, I made dedicated sound fonts to uh, his duel with um, Yoda and then his duel with uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin on the ship rescuing, uh, rescuing the Chancellor. So on this one, your font is always going to have a pre-on of uh, the quote with the power on. It's going to be uh, um, always played the same. And then on the next one, you will also have that as well which is um, going to be, uh, well, I'll show you, but let's, let's go ahead and get into this one real quick. Much to learn, you still have. And I love this. This is one of my favorite parts about this. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the force, but by our skills with a lightsaber. Those force waves, force waves are kind of hard to get. You gotta swing and press at the same time without turning it off. <laughs> there you go, the Yoda. Maybe it's easiest to press and push down. That's the easiest way to do it. It's just press and throw at the same time. Whoop, or you power it down, see? And then you can get Hold on, I got a ZL in here. Come on. This saber is pretty, pretty big <laughs> as far as lengthwise, you know. It's a two-hander for sure, and a curved two-hander. I'm not used to that. Very cool, though. This is the one where he shows up on uh, where Anakin and Obi Wan go to rescue the Chancellor. Your swords, please. We don't want to make a mess of things in front of the Chancellor. You won't get away this time, Dooku. Definitely probably going to make the accent swings a little easier to, uh, to do. With a curve and the bottom pommel being so back heavy, I got to figure out the balance on that one. <laughs> Still really fun to swing around. Swords, please. We don't want to make a mess of things in front of the Chancellor. 
you won't get away this time, Dooku. So every time you go to ignite that one, you're always going to have that quote. For this font specifically, I figured it was cool to kind of set it up to where that always plays. So these two fonts at the end, you um, it's kind of more of like a theatrical thing. You know, you can show people like the scene. And then, and then of course, there's ones where there are no quotes at all. It's just very normal. So whichever one you want to land on is up to you. But so. Oh. Twice the pride, double the four. So you do have a music track on this one. Press and hold. That's how you hear music. This is the scene with Anakin and them. Your swords, please. We don't want to make a mess of things. But chance. You won't get away this time, Duke. audio player and settings sd card usb access and uh, this is pretty cool i didn't realize this you could do uh i mean i knew you could do it i just never really played with it but you can adjust the settings in um in real time with this uh firmware um let's go through it real quick Call system menu so system menu you can activate um some of the settings in real time which is pretty cool on this one. Blade power. Well, you choose them. Color profile. Previous menu. Volume. Select volume. Hold, press and hold. Volume. And then it's going to say volume. 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 Because this is a 24 millimeter speaker, I just went ahead and um, kept it at 100%. This is a Saber Essentials. Um, if you're not being too crazy on it, it should last you a good bit of time. So press and hold to select the volume. This is at 100% again. Sound bank selection. And then this is the, uh, when you press and hold, it beeps you to the next one. This is going to be your menu volume, which I don't think you should have really that loud. Sound bank selection. Sound bank selection. See, it starts here, quiet. Sound bank selection, 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 sound bank selection. Honestly, I keep it at about a little bit under the norm, the max volume. Volume. Blade power. Blade power. Color profiles. You don't have to mess with. Color profiles, you don't have to mess with. Previous menu. System menu. But I just thought that was pretty cool. Exit menu. You can change the volume right then and there. Oh, and you could also, the blade, uh, the I didn't mess with it, and I'm not gonna because this video is really long. You can change some of your uh, flash on flash colors and stuff like that in there too, but, so that's pretty cool. And Dooku, I've become more powerful than any Jedi. And back to the first font. Really cool. So there we go. Man, this is a interesting hilt to do. <laughs> I really, I had a good time doing it. In between doing my uh, commission for Gabriel, uh, he's got a Scrap Flex. I was juggling this one as well. Scrap Flex is taking a bit because it is a crystal chamber, but it is, it's coming along really cool. Gabriel, if you're watching this, man, I, I'm, I'm having fun with that too. But since Brian is in town and he came over and um, dropped this off and we had a good time. And during the time of talking, I got a good half of it done. I was like, man, I need to go ahead and finish this up. Uh, while I wait for some things for uh, Gabriel's Scrap Flex and knocked this one out and got a couple more things to build for you, Brian, but that is basically it. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's been fun to swing around. All right, guys, that'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching everybody out there for liking videos, commenting, subscribing, keeping this channel um, growing. It's just really cool to see that. And um, I gotta say, man, I, uh, I, I'm very touched that uh, I'm almost at 2000 subscribers. It's just, I don't do this for full time or for the money or for anything other than fun and to show you guys cool stuff. So thanks to you guys for watching and, and, and um, you know, being a part of the fun. So until next time, may the force be with you.
was scruffy looking. 